Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I am Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. I teach how to live in victory, and when you get a hold of this, I promise your life will never be the same. Living in victory. I want to begin by sharing with you Acts 11 and verse 14. Speaking of Peter, he will tell you how you and all your household can be saved. Oh, how exciting to know just how you can be saved and that your household will be saved too. Let's look further. Let's see just what Paul had to say about this. In Acts chapter 16, we read the story of Paul and Silas and how they were singing praises to God even while they were in prison. As they sang praises to God, they were loosed. And the next morning, the Philippian jailer thought he didn't know exactly what had happened because they were not there. They had been loosed. He pulled out his sword and was ready to kill himself. And Paul cried out and said, Don't, for we are all here. We are still here. Then there is the scripture in Acts 16.31. As Paul is answering this Philippian jailer, he says, Oh, what shall I do to be saved? And Paul said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved, you and your household. Oh, what a promise! not just for you, but your household as well. I was so blessed one day. I was preparing a message, Household Salvation. I was preparing this message to give. And even as I was, the mail arrived, and there was my magazine from Benny Hinn's ministry, and he had an article, Household Salvation, which in fact uh, was um, confirmation to go and give this message and indeed trust the Lord for household salvation. Certainly believe for yourself and also Believe for your household. It is true, they must call upon the Lord for themselves, but you can accomplish much through your witness and through your prayers. Oh yes, those things that you ask in Jesus' name, you can have those things. We have His Word as a promise. Oh, praise God and praise God for this promise of household salvation. This is a message I have preached just all over and we are going to pray right now. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming, for taking on my sin, for dying in my place. I call upon your name, Jesus, not only for myself, but for my family members, for my household, Lord. I bring them before you, and I pray that they all be saved. I thank you for your promise as I call upon you. 
I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.